What's up you guys? Considering the nice weather we've got outside and the time of year, I think it's about time that we go for a good old fashioned Easter egg hunt. <sighs> oh, you thought we were gonna go outside? Not a chance. I know it's nice outside, but I'm a Linux user. I'm gonna spend it the only way I know how, and that is in my text editor. Now, as a lot of you guys probably know, Vim's been around for a super long time. And because of that, that means that there's a bunch of little commands and entries in the documentation that Bram's thrown in there to make Vim a bit more funny and a bit more interesting for you guys to look through. So in this video, we're gonna be looking through them and finding our own little Easter eggs in Vim. Now, some of you may be NeoVim users, so a few of these may not be there for you, but if those of you are using Vim, then all of these little tidbits will be in your version of Vim. Anyways, so let's start off with a really fun one that you probably may have run into, which is if you do help, you'll get normal documentation. But if you guys have ever used commands like grep, then you probably have realized that you can use an exclamation mark at the end of a command to make it operate differently. So for the example of grep, it will instead of jumping you to the first match, it will just list it all in the quick fix list. Now, if you do this with help, it will tell you don't panic, which I appreciate because that means that Bram is worried about my mental health and I appreciate that. Thank you, Bram. Now, Vim also hosts another really awesome command called and when you run it, it will respond with, do you demand a shrubbery? Which is a quick reference to Monty Python's Holy Grail. Funny movie, love it. Now, if you take a little peek at the man page for bar, you'll see that at the end, it has this little bit of text right here, which is French saying, ceci ne pas un peep. For those of you guys that are French, I'm sorry, I tried my best, uh, which is a little reference to this painting made by this artist. Uh, didn't remember his name because I had to put all my effort into making sure that I tried my best to pronounce that right, because I know someone in the comments is still gonna tell me I'm wrong, but it's the thought that counts. As good Vim users, you've probably taken a lot of looks at the documentation. And when you've looked at the documentation, you've probably looked at the manual. So if you go help and you give it a number, so example 30, then it will take you to a specific entry in the manual. So this is user manual 30. Now, the cool thing about this is that if you've ever tried to do this with the number 42, you've probably ran into the meaning of life, which is great that they have included this in Vim for all you guys to take a look at. For those of you guys who have read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you probably get the joke. If not, read it, it's pretty good. Now, if you guys have ever programmed or done any problem solving in Vim, you've probably gotten pretty frustrated and that might make you frown. But lucky for you guys, if you guys just run the command smile, you've got yourself a little smile, got something to brighten up your day. I feel rejuvenated, my day is looking up. Now, there's been a lot of searching for a bunch of different things throughout history, and one of the most popular things searched for is the Holy Grail. So if we look at help Holy Grail, there it is. We found it. We found the Holy Grail. Um, and it basically just tells you to use smile if you look that up in the man page. And as we showed off before, we get a little smile. And you know what? The smile is the Holy Grail. Smiling, happiness, that's all that you really need. Who needs eternal life? Now this one's a bit obscure, but if you do help none map, um, you'll see that there's a bunch of stuff in here, but if you scroll down, you will see that there is a little entry right here, which is none map can also be used outside of a monastery, which is pretty nice. So for those of you guys that have ever wanted to do any uh, Vim usage involving nuns or any religious stuff, then uh, there you go. You can use it in Vim. Pretty cool. Now, if you guys are used to doing a little Vim scripting, you've probably used an auto command before. And auto commands are basically a way to listen for different events. So if you do uh, help Vim enter, I think is a pretty popular one. This will allow you to do an auto command for that sort of stuff. But right above it, you'll see that there is one for users getting bored. And it's just a little joke thrown in there by Bram saying that if the user presses the same key 42 times, then it would call this auto command. Obviously, it's just a joke. Now, this one's not very much of an Easter egg, but if you just do help spoon, you will get a little entry right here, which I think is kind of funny. Um, spoon isn't really mentioned anywhere else, but I just think it's kind of funny that they added it right where fork is for all the people that have wanted to have more utensils in 
Vim. Now, if you guys do a really quick search in the help for show mat, then you'll see a bunch of entries and there's this little note down here saying use of short form is rated PG, which I assume is just a little joke on a no sum because if no one is involved, it's probably okay for kids, right? Now, another useful man page that I highly recommend taking a look at is how to, and it has a bunch of different things, basically saying how to do a bunch of different things and different man page sections that you should take a look at. But if we scroll down a bit further, we will see a little tidbit on future things to be added to Vim, probably I'm assuming in Vim 9, which is you can't yet do dishes using Vim. So keep an eye out for that. I'm expecting Bram to add that in in Vim 9 as one of its many changes, including the Vim skip changes and such. Now for our final one, this isn't really a Easter egg as much as it is a plugin made by Bram. But considering that it is under the Vim user on GitHub, I'm gonna just go ahead and count it because I think it's in the spirit of this video, which is basically a plugin that he made that is pretty funny, that is basically just made to show off some of Vim 8.2's cool features. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save you the time of showing you how to install the plugin and just go ahead and show you how it works. All right, and once you have the plugin installed, you can just open up Vim, and then once you've pack added or whatever you need to do to install it and set it up, and you can just run the command kill 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 and then oh we need to make the terminal a bit bigger um, just because this takes up a lot of space and then as you guys can hear there is just some music it gives you the different keys that you can use and then let's just start and that's ready okay and then we can go around and we can shoot up some sheep um, now luckily uh, PETA probably won't be too upset about this um, this should be uh, pretty fine because no sheep were really hurt in the making of this plugin. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this was just a fun little thing I threw together. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the bell icon so you guys will get notified of my next video. I do a lot of videos on Vim and the command line, so if that interests you, let me know by hitting that bell icon. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If there's any Easter eggs I missed out, which I'm sure I did, be sure to throw them down in the comments below. Before I head off, I just wanted to thank Brian Jenks, who supports me on GitHub through GitHub Sponsors. If you guys wanna support the channel, be sure to support me on Patreon or on GitHub Sponsors as well as Brian. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.